Okay, this is the first video we're doing on searching for a laptop that's really cheap. We're looking for deals here and we're going to look for computers that are really cheap that we can buy and sell at a profit. So first place we're going to look is Craigslist. Just go to Craigslist for your city. Go to computers for sale and let's just start looking through. Now what are we looking for? We're looking for high quality computers, strong computers, fast processors for prices lower than they should be selling for. Now, we could just look at the first two and say a Dell Studio for $80, a Lenovo ThinkPad for $90. These are not the kind of computers we're looking for. This is an old school processor. It's an old school computer. You're not really going to make a profit on it. We're looking for like i5s and i7s, recent i5s and i7s that are, sell are selling for much less than they should be. This one is an i5, but it's a fourth generation and we're up to generation 10 now. This one's actually not too bad, to be honest. It's fourth generation i5, and it's selling for $90. That's actually not too bad. We might be able to sell that one for maybe 150 Now, you're not making a lot of money, but if you're just starting off, it might be good to dip your toe in the water with this. In fact, you might be able to get them to sell it to you for 75 But let's just see how much this is selling for. If you find a deal that you think is good and you want to see how much you could sell it for, how much profit you're going to make, I go to eBay.com to determine the market value because there's a lot of buyers and sellers internationally on eBay. So you just type, put in the computer you're looking to sell. It's a ThinkPad i5, fourth generation. Okay, that's the one, T440. And the trick on finding the market value on eBay is to ignore everything that comes up when you do a search these prices are what people are trying to get for their computers they are not what the computers are selling for we want to find the sold price and you do that by going in the left hand column and scrolling all the way down to sold items this is the real market value of the computer this is what they're actually selling for i could care less what people want to get for their computer what i care about are what people are actually paying for the computer now this one's probably parts because it's no hard no hard drive, so we're not going to count that one. This one is a pre-owned 500 gig hard drive for $130. It was sold for. Okay, this one's a refurbished for 226, refurbished 222. Now we got to look. You can look in the details. This has an 180 SSD. This has 240 SSD. This is selling for 115, 135. 67 but it's parts only 89 but it's parts only 69 but it's parts only don't count the parts only ones because this one we're gonna buy is not parts only so i'm seeing between 115 and 200 and something dollars now if you're buying it for 90 or 75 and you sell it for 150 175 you're making 100 bucks profit that is one that's worth trick looking into it's a lower priced one and I tend to stay away from them because you can make more profit with the higher priced ones, but this isn't a bad one to do if you're just starting out. So that's one I would definitely consider. Let's go to the next video and see if we could find one a little more expensive and a little higher profit margin.